In this video, we solve problem 11.6.017 from the Larson and Edwards Calculus Early Transcendental Functions text, 7th edition. We're asked to classify the quadric surface and then sketch it. Well, first of all, when I look at this equation of a quadric surface, I notice that x, y, and z are all squared, and that one of the terms is negative, and then I also have a constant term. And um, that tells me that I'm going to have a hyperboloid of one sheet. Those are the characteristics of a hyperboloid of one sheet. Um, but I need to write it a little differently if I want to see it in that standard form that we're accustomed to. So typically what we would want is a one on the right hand side. So let's divide everything by four. And that would get us very close to the standard form of the equation of a hyperboloid of one sheet. So we see this, we see the y term is negative. That means the hyperboloid of one sheet opens around the y axis. Now, typically we'd like to see an x squared, a y squared and a z squared or an x minus x naught squared, y minus y naught squared and z minus z naught squared in the numerator and a squared, b squared and z squared or c squared, excuse me, in the denominator. We don't want these fours, those coefficients right there. Well, that's easy enough to, to handle. Um, multiplying by four is the same as dividing by one fourth. So we can say that this is the same as x squared over 1 fourth minus y squared over 4 plus z squared over 1 fourth equals 1. Um, so that is our equation of a hyperboloid of one sheet in standard form. a squared is 1 fourth, b squared is 4, c squared is 1 fourth, and it opens around the y axis. So the surface itself is going to look like this. When y is equal to zero, that's in the x z plane, we have the equation x squared plus z squared equals one or x squared plus z squared, or four x squared plus four z squared equals one, which means x squared plus z squared equals one fourth. So we've got a circle right here of radius uh, one half. And it just extends like this. And the farther you get from y equals zero, the larger sort of the width of this becomes.